with the juice. Pouring it on my car, all that shit, spiking the juice, all that shit, playing football with bottles of juices and shit like that, so. Oh, no! Lou, man, how's it going, bro? Everything's going good, my guy. Hey, so I know you just had a party yesterday, man. Tell me about it. How did it go? Yeah, the listening party was basically, um, basically like a coming out thing for me and, um, me and originally oh, I was gonna do it myself, right? Yeah. And then I was like, well, I want to incorporate everybody because I've always been a team player. Shit, I'm the one. Okay, time out. I like to put everything into basketball terms. So <laughs> when I give you when I give you an analogy, I need you to catch it. All right. So so I'm the team player who dive on the ball, who dive on the floor for the ball every time. <laughs> So it was an invite only kind of thing because you know I yeah. wanted good vibes and family and friends around to hear it first and to hear what I was doing. Um, so of course I incorporated Snap Boy Ty. That's like my brother. Uh, he kind of brought me into everything with the music thing here. Yeah. What made you come to Memphis, by the way? Uh, well, originally I'm from New Orleans. Uh, yeah. I moved up here for the hurricane. I moved up here for Hurricane Katrina. I was like. I think I was just starting eighth grade, so what? I was like 12 or 13 or some shit like that. And I was like, of course I came up, I was I was thinking, I'm gonna only be up here for a couple of days. So I packed an uh, overnight bag. <laughs> and the nigga ended up staying in this house for years. Hey, it's been like 10, 11 years now, so. And did you, I know you affiliated with uh, Tsunami Boys. Um, yeah, that's my shit. Yeah, oh, it's yours? Yeah, that's my shit. That's some shit I started with. With David and my homeboy Mike, who lives in Denver right mm -hmm. now, uh, he was home from the army, and we started that shit. And then, and that's when I started kicking it with Scotty, Scotty yeah. and BG, real tough. And I was like, bro, y'all niggas is tsunami boys. Like, this a movement we finna do for real, and I need y'all to be all in on this shit because them niggas have an energy who I instantly kind of picked up on it. Yeah. Like, as soon as I got around them, I was like. These niggas is standing on shit, motherfucking. I was like, I fuck with that shit tough. So I was like, I was like yeah, I need y'all niggas on the team type shit. So let's talk about your music. Okay. Here comes, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing was, is kind of self explanatory. You know how niggas be like, shit, I gotta do this. So shit, here goes nothing. So that was like, I said it one day. I was like, I was like, well, that's the title of the tape. Here goes nothing. It's just, it's just a, I'm jumping off the, I'm jumping off the deep end into the pool. Shit, I'ma either sink or swim. Let me tell you something that, that caught my attention. I know okay. you did it a little different. Um, the way you titled your song is hashtag. Yeah. I don't know if you did that on yeah. purpose or not. I but. did. Originally, originally I did it just to kind of be ugly. I was like, because me and all my friends like do ugly shit for the <laughs> hell of it because it's funny. And I was like, bruh. And all my titles, I'm not gonna have no spaces. It's just gonna be one long ass sentence. Yeah, I noticed that. And then I was like, I was like, I actually started seeing it. I was like, I was like, fuck it, let's keep going with it. And just motherfucking long ass sentences, no spaces. Probably the easiest title on there is Reasons. Yeah. I mean, because it's only one word. And that's the one you dropped as a single. You yeah, that was that the first word. song I put up because, uh, that was like the third song I ever recorded. Yeah. And then originally I recorded it and Scotty was like, Bro, this shit go hard. We need to put this out tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, nah, I was like, nah, we're gonna hold off on it, hold off on it. I'ma drop it. It's just not gonna be as soon as everybody wants to so everybody started hearing it and everybody was like, bro, please put this out, please put this out, because this song gonna go. I know you went wild with um promoting it because you actually, man, I was tripping the day I saw that on your snap, bro. You put the the song up on the intercom at work. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I definitely I, I, had, like, to, man, I had to I had to tell everybody in the store <laughs> you gonna get with this way whether you like it or not. So I That's insane. So man. I picked the phone, I picked the work phone up, pulled my iPhone out, I played the song <laughs> and put the intercom on and played my song over the intercom at work. Of course I didn't let it all play. I'm not an idiot. Cause they gonna know exactly where it's coming from. So I had to give them a little snip it over the phone and then hang the phone up. So, uh, so you didn't get in trouble yeah, yeah, yeah. for it. Nobody caught me. Nobody caught me. That's wild, man. I respect that because they just show you, man, like you in your own like lane for what you want to do. So, Bruh, I really, 
see the difference between me and like a lot of people I think is I really just don't give a fuck how how did your girlfriend you know like when you stepped out and said you want to do music now like how did she take that she was real like she was like uh, she was like, <laughs> she, was like uh, nah, nah. She, she always knew that what I wanted to do involved music but I think her vision of it was like more behind the scenes of like producing or managing or engineering or whatever it was so I started doing it and she, she was scared that uh, when I started I was going to stop because I jump I tend to jump yeah. From thing to thing. So so I may be like, shit, I'm trying to do a closing line this week. Fuck it. I'm doing a motherfucking <laughs> mixtape. So that's now like I got me. 10 things on my plate. And she was scared that that was just going to be something I just added on to my plate. Except I said, I'm really finna do this. I'm finna take it serious. I'm finna. Because it's been something I've always kind of wanted to do. I've always been, since a youngin', rapping in the mirror, all that stuff. Like, Growing up, I clearly listened to rap, so everybody was like, "Something is he has to do something in music." So, and that's kind of how she took it. She was more scared, but uh, after the listening party, she was like, "I'm really proud of your of how you st- st- stuck with your project, finished it, and all that stuff like that." Even though she, she was upset that she kind of she kind of got put on the sideburn a little bit. Not all the way, cause you know hey. that's still that's still that's still bad. But sometimes I told her like I gotta zone in when I'm doing this. I gotta zone in all the way on it, so it's not it's not a I'm falling back because of this or that. It's I'm working. So yeah, I gotta zone in on it. I gotta just do what I do. So what's next with you? Um, are you gonna just let this project chill and you know count numbers up, or are you gonna you know working on something else already? Um, next, what's next? I'm gonna let this project kind of chill and bubble for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try and start doing a lot of these open mics, for example, here at Oasis. Yes. Uh, do a couple chills. I know Dirty Vans Three is coming up. I'm thinking about uh, submitting myself for that. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm gonna be dropping single after single. So I'm just gonna. I got a catalog, so I'm just. Staying on people, staying in people's face, and on they, on they ass. Go at it, go at it. Hey, man, you heard it from the best, man. Sulu, make sure you guys do go check in the description for his yeah, links man. to his music, Instagram, yeah. every social media that he has. So make sure you guys go mess with him. He new on the scene, and I know he's gonna attack. So tsunami boys, make sure you subscribe too, please. Bitch. So like, I'm the reason why you pussy scared. You can't sleep at night. I'm the reason why you waking up in a cold sweat.